And, but anyway, uh, the, the question I think was when you go on the air as an activator or as a hunter, where do you, where do you look? Is there a specific frequency on each band? And, uh, you know, the answer to that question is no. Uh, POTA does not have any guidance or specific frequencies. Um, it's been talked about several times on, on their uh, Facebook pages as maybe a, a good idea for the future, but but right mm -hmm. now there's not. So yeah, the, there's uh, there's no no specific calling frequency on the HF bands, and uh, the only recommendation I usually give people is to you know you you, you want to get want to stay in the general portion of the band, of course. Uh, so you can, you've, you've got the, the greatest exposure to, uh, hunters, uh, you will want to, um, try to avoid, there are certain frequencies you'll try to want to avoid. Um, like on 40 meters, I, I usually try to stay away from 7255 and 7258, uh, because those you'll, you'll find the, uh, East cars and mid cars, uh, mobile nets on. And on the upper end of the 40 meter band, sometimes uh, the AM guys, they get a little cranky. Uh, so try to, you know, I, I usually try to stay um, down below 72.45 and up above, say, 71.85. Those are, you know, that's that seems yeah. to be like a good, on, on the 40 meter band. Uh, 20 yeah. meters, I typically, you want to stay away from 14.230 and 14.233 yeah. because those are the slow scan TV guys. Yep. Uh, 14.314 is the uh, maritime net. And then you'll find other DX nets scattered all over the place. I think it's, mm -hmm. You're usually pretty safe if you're if you're above fourteen three hundred. I've I've found there's a lot of open space there uh, because the DXers usually they usually if I'm going to get stomped on stomped on by a DX station, it's going to be somewhere between fourteen two eighty and fourteen two ninety five. Yeah, so. and I think as an activator, you have to be prepared to move. Uh, yeah, because you're you're a small signal in a in a very loud environment, and so sooner or later someone is going to mm -hmm. either inadvertently or unknowingly uh, step on you, and then you have to shift over somewhere else. But yep. uh, but the beauty of it is with, with the spotting page, you just find a, a new spot, you respot yourself on the new frequency, and uh, and and it really is not a big deal. Off you go. A lot of times I'll look and see, uh, before I pick a frequency, I'll look on the, the spotting page, and that's pota.app, A-P-P. Uh, there you will be able to find, you know, where other people are located. And, you know, because you don't want to set up shop where somebody else is activating, you know, maybe, but maybe if you be near another station, you know, say three or five kilohertz away, it tends to work really well. Um, I think one thing that works well is, and I'm, I'm going to pop this, this screen up here, um, it's the Considerate Operators Frequency Guide. If you just, in the, in, into the search bar, if you type Considerate Operators Frequency Guide, you'll get this nice list from the ARRL, and it's going to give you um, where you'll find certain modes located and uh, a few different services. So that'll kind of, you know, help guide you um, where you want to be. So you're not messing up with another digital mode or slow scan or QRP or, or something like that. So that's, that's kind of a good, that's, I, I find that's kind of a good check just to make sure that you're in, in, a, in a good spot to call CQ. Yeah, as a general rule, if you don't hear anybody, you're probably okay. Yeah, ex exactly. So, Thank you so much for the questions. If you keep sending them, we'll keep answering them. Feel free to leave your questions and comments down in the comment area below. I'll filter through them, and who knows, yours may end up on our next Your Questions Answered live stream. Our Q&A live streams happen on the first Thursday of the month, starting at 7 o'clock p.m. Central Time. I hope to see you there. For more articles and information, along with a full line of VHF and UHF antennas for sale, please check out my website at www.jpol-antenna.com. 
Your support of this channel drives the production of future videos. Check us out on Patreon. Patrons gain access to exclusive content, and our patrons help keep the mission alive. That's over on patreon.com slash kb9vbr antennas. Well, give us that thumbs up if you like this video, and don't forget to hit that subscribe button if it's your first time here. That's your best way to be notified when a new video is released. I'm Michael, KB9VBR. Have a great day, and 73.